The last king of Greece, Constantine II died at the age of 82 years. Welcome back to God's Eye and please take a second of your time and subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification bell for more details. Constantine ruled until the monarchy was abolished in his 1973, and was the second cousin of King Charles III of England. Constantine II, the last king of Greece before the monarchy was abolished, died on Tuesday in Athens at the age of 82. The royal family is deeply saddened to announce that our beloved husband, father and brother, His Majesty King Constantine, passed away this week in his personal practice, said in a statement Wednesday. Constantine suffered respiratory problems last week and was taken to a private hospital in the Greek capital after being treated in an intensive care unit. A descendant of the Danish royal family of Glucksburg, Constantine was a second cousin to King Charles of England and godfather to William, Prince of Wales. He ascended to the throne in 1964 at the age of 23, shortly after he won an Olympic gold medal in sailing. But soon he became unpopular when George Papenry fell into the elected government. The government lost in 1965 during the political crisis, known as the Revolution of the Royal Family, and then Constantine appointed a continuous government with a small and popular support. This period of political instability eventually led to the creation of a military government in 1967. Constantin pledged allegiance to the colonels of the junta and took pictures with them. However, he later supported the reversal of the failed military government and urged him to leave Greece. For many years, his wife Anne-Marie lived in the suburbs of London's Hummum Garden. His royal title was officially abolished in a referendum in 1974 after the fall of the military government, when Greek voters confirmed the abolition of the monarchy and the creation of the Third Hellenic Republic. Constantine traveled as a Danish prince with a Danish passport. He lost his Greek citizenship in 1994, after refusing to accept a passport with the Glucksburg surname, claiming that his name was Greek Constantine. Despite the fact that Greece does not recognize titles of nobility, Constantine continued to refer to himself as the King of Greece and his children as princes and princesses until the last moment. Greek Prime Minister Kyriakos Mitsotakis said in a statement, the eventful journey of former King Constantine was marked and marked by tumultuous moments in Greece's modern history. History now has a say. Judging Constantine for public life will be fair and tough. The Greek government has announced that he will be buried privately in a former royal estate north of Athens, with his family and the church designated by the Greek government. A funeral date has not yet been announced.